Hello and welcome to another edition of the Sycamore Basketball Show. It is game day for Greg Lansing and the Sycamores in the Windy City, ready to take on Loyola. That's a game you can see over on ABC for the Wabash Valley later today. But you've seen Loyola once, and boy, you shot the ball extremely well against them from the three-point line. We did, and I'd like to be able to do that again today. Uh, um, you know, Loyola, they had a great start to their season, uh, struggled for a little bit of a stretch, as can happen in this league. Uh, when you get your road games and some of the teams that you might be playing, but they've they've played tough. They played us tough uh, here the first time, and uh, they're going to want to get us at home. That's for sure. And a good performance, I think, on the road at Missouri State earlier this week. Yeah, they were without their two best players at Missouri State and went down there and won. Uh, they played a low possession game. It was a low scoring game, but they did what they had to do. And uh, just watching it uh, as we're filming this on Thursday, it was played last night. They really played hard, you know. And I, I kind of. Going into practice today, I want to show some of our, our guys some of the clips of just how hard they competed in that game, and they got a road win. In your last win, you're up 38-25 at half, and it feels comfortable and it feels good, but I'm reminded of that Royce Waltman saying that shooting the ball can cover a multitude of sins. When you're 9 for 12, like you were in the first half from three-point range, you're going to be leading. Well, and when you move the ball like we move, they tried to double the post. We skipped it out of there. We moved it. We have good passers. As long as we share the ball, uh, that's been kind of the thing with us all year. We share the ball. We get good shots all the time because uh, some of the past couple games we haven't shared it like we need to. We've quick shot a little bit. Uh, haven't made good defensive teams guard throughout a possession. So just stuff we have to continue to work on. In that game, of course, earlier this season we saw Devontae with the three three-pointers in Carbondale. In the last Loyola game, 24 points for Devontae. He, he's going to take what the defense gives him more often than not. And, you know, you, you look at our stats, and Christian's been struggling offensively and, and uh, against Northern Iowa. J Justin's struggling, and we're not making shots. That's when Devontae Devont makes his mistakes. And it's only because he's tr he over-penetrates or forces stuff because he knows his team needs something, uh, knows his team needs some help. So uh, Devontae's been our best player. He's uh, been our best player at both ends of the floor. And he's not going to get 24 certainly every night, but a little bit of when he sees – uh, his team needing it. He tries to, to fill in those gaps. And it was a one-in-one one week this past week for the Sycamore, starting with a home win over Bradley. And that was a team that was without some players due to suspension. And I know it's easy for the team playing a team with suspended guys to maybe just say, okay, it's not the full Bradley team. But when you're the team without the players, a lot of times those teams rise to the occasion. Oh, it always happens that way. I mean, I was scared to death going to this because I just knew they'd come in loose and free. Uh, playing hard and and the and guys maybe he didn't get as many minutes or as many shots and normally they were gonna have some fun and and they had no pressure on him whatsoever. Gino had him ready to go too. I, I knew I knew he would. He's a good basketball coach even though they're going through some tough times there. Um, but they they came in with a plan and we really didn't know exactly what they'd do because of the the situation. Uh, with the suspensions, but uh, give them a lot of credit. They really came in and played hard. I never felt like we were in pretty or, uh, of losing that one, letting that slip away. But they wouldn't let us slip. They wouldn't let us get away from them either. And um, you know, it sh shows a sign of your team has got to continue to grow up. And a team, when you get them down, you got to put them away. Indiana State was trailing at halftime, 26-23. What was your message to the team at halftime of the Bradley game? It's not good enough. You know, sh shake out of this funk a little bit. You know, I. Uh, there's been different times throughout the year and as a coach you can see it coming sometime and so for a couple days in practice before you're telling them about it and you know what's going to happen you see what's going to happen and they're not listening they they don't think they, they're just they're just going to go out and play uh, but but Bradley came in here with a plan we might have had a little let down as far as um, uh, thinking about that and thinking about them being under us having some guys out with suspension and it was a low possession game. We've had some teams really trying to, even Northern Iowa, really trying to slow it down against us. So you have to, unbel you have to have unbelievable um, value on every possession. And, and sometimes with young guys, that's tough. And your team, you, you really did a good job on the glass against Bradley, and that's not always easy to do against the Braves. Yeah, we were worried about that, and going into that game, we had been out-rebounded a little bit. It's been uh, our Achilles heel at times, and uh, we, we do have decent size. We have good strength, so we need to go ahead and be a little bit more physical in our blockouts. Bradley's a long, athletic team. I see you see those guys warm up, and you're like, holy cow. 
uh, they look pretty darn good. Uh, so you have to take their athleticism away and, and get into their legs a little bit. And you look at Bradley, that's a team that before the season, I know Geno Ford felt like this could be his best Bradley team, but you look at the momentum they were able to build by playing well in Terre Haute, they almost beat Wichita at home earlier this week. Yeah, I was talking to Geno last night after. I'm just trying to support him a little bit. You know, I know that he's going through some tough times, and hey, you do your best as a, as a coach. You recruit uh, uh, guys that are good people, that work hard, that want to help you win, and sometimes they make mistakes, mistakes and you got to deal with it, but yeah, they had they had Wichita right there at the end. Uh, they were down, they cut it to one and end up getting beat by three. And uh, he's a good basketball coach, and and, and the preparation for uh, uh, them again was difficult, was different for us. But uh, our guys responded. Our guys responded in the second half. I thought we got going, and um, we we played a much better possession by possession game. All right, we'll come back with more of the Sycamore Basketball Show after a quick timeout.